Hi, I'm Mark Tremonti from Alter Bridge, and you're watching an interview with Arnella at Comeback Stage. So, hi, Mark. Nice to hi, meet you. Nice How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Very good. Good to hear. And Alter Bridge's last hero is out for exactly one year and six days today. Wow. And uh, live at the O2 Arena in London is out now. Um, what were your highlights the past 12 months? Um, probably the biggest highlight was playing um, Royal Albert Hall with the symphony um, just about a week ago. So it was, uh, that was an intense couple of shows and we fit, you know, filmed that. So that will be out maybe springtime next year. Oh, good yeah. to hear. Yeah. <laughs> and um, why did you choose to record exactly the show in London? Um, Well, that was the only place that the symphony or the orchestra was going to be, so we uh, we set it up for those two days. But London, um, the Royal Albert Hall seemed like the perfect place to film it. You know, it's such a classy place. It's uh, they have history of of um, bands getting in there with orchestras, so it uh, it seemed like the perfect fit. Sounds good to me. Yeah. And um, you're one year on the road right now with your latest album, Last Hero. Did you ever do this before with the record? Well, actually, we've been touring. Um, months months and months before the record even came out so we uh we went on a i don't know four month tour before that so we've been touring this is the most we've ever toured on an album and uh you know i'm ready ready for home <laughs> do you miss home sometimes i do home? i do especially you know this time of year the holidays coming up halloween mm. my house is all decorated and i don't get to you know spend it with uh, i get back the day before halloween Ah, okay yep. thank god so yep. at least you get to see your friends and family yep. for mm -hmm. halloween mm -hmm. big party um, Scott Phillips, our drummer, usually has a party. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what's coming up next for you? Um, we're going to tour here until Halloween and then um, go home for a month and then go back out in the States for three weeks or so. And then just I'm going to the studio with, with my solo band. Sounds mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. And um, is it true that you never had guitar lessons, um, but that it's all self-taught and um, all your skills come from the work you did by yourself? Yeah, you know, I took I took one guitar lesson, and um, it was one of those things where I had to buy a Mel Bay book, and they tried to teach me Silent Night, and <laughs> it's like I'm not interested. Yeah, I just I just wasn't interested, and um, so I I didn't go back, and I just decided to buy tablature books and learn by myself. Okay, mm -hmm. that's yeah. good. Yeah. Would you mean? Uh, would you say it's easier for for persons to to learn it by themselves, or is it maybe easier to to have a teacher who tells you hey this and that Tell it's this. much much easier to have a teacher <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> why didn't you take one um i didn't have the resources you know i just um there wasn't a teacher nearby it was expensive um i just i was turned turned off by the first lesson i had okay. so i decided um and i liked songwriting a lot you know i wasn't as much into being a magnificent guitar player i just wanted to <laughs> play write songs and, and okay. sing and, and uh for many many years i was a terrible terrible guitar player you know Can't i just that. yeah i was i was awful <laughs> um my brothers used to make fun of me like they i couldn't play a song from start to finish you know <laughs> what a nice guy so yeah so but i was developing how to become a songwriter and how to develop my own sound and i'm glad i did it that way because um if you have too many guitar if you have a guitar teacher your whole life or you're following one guitar player two guitar players you start sounding like those those players so um, learning on your own, you kind of develop your own sound. And it turned out pretty good, as we can all see. Yes, <laughs> yes. Thank, thank goodness. I stuck it out. And um, who writes most of the lyrics in Alder Bridge? Is it you or is it Miles? Well, me and Miles write all the music and melodies and whatnot, and then Miles takes over and finishes the bulk of the lyrics. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, you've been very active in, in writing and recording your solo stuff with Tremonti. Mm -hmm. um, when can we, we see another Tremonti record coming out? I think it should be May 26th, I believe. Um, we haven't even gotten to the studio yet, but the, uh, the plan is, you know, right around that date. And uh, we'll be going to the studio mid to late January. Okay, sounds good to me. Yeah. And um, if you should convince a young person to, to listen to rock music, mm -hmm. which song would you show him or her and why? It doesn't have to be from All the Rich. Um, geez, it's tough. Um, I'd, I'd hand them the Metallica Master of Puppets album. You know, that's what made me a fanatic. You know, Is so. there a special song about it? The whole thing, you know, from the very beginning of Battery is just the beginning is so beautiful and, and then it kicks you in the face and, and just, 
it, I love it. So, I mean, if I could pick just one song, I don't know, maybe Cashmere. Led Zeppelin Cashmere. So not Metallica. <laughs> it depends on the type of person. If I'm sitting down with, with um, you know, somebody I think is going to be a metalhead, I'd say <laughs> Metallica. But if it's yeah. more of a uh, person who's, you know, into pop culture, maybe mm -hmm. more Led Zeppelin. Sounds mm -hmm. good. And um, if you could have kind of a fantasy dinner with three persons of your choice, who would you invite? It doesn't matter if they're still alive or not, or no, however. Al alive or dead? Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> uh, st well, I'd probably do all the past people. I'd probably say, uh, that's tough. Um, hmm. Maybe, uh, gosh, that's tough. <laughs> I know. Uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Jesus. <laughs> hey, you're Jesus a lot, actually. Yeah, I mean, it'd be, you know. <laughs> it'd be um, quite interesting, though. Yeah, it I would know. be. Um, <laughs> third person at your table. Third person at my table. Oh, man. Um, I'll, I'll go with somebody living. Michael Jordan. Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> what a mix. What a mix. <laughs> yeah. So uh, thank you very much for your time, Mark. I'm very looking forward to your show. Thank you. And the last words are yours. Thanks for supporting us. Come check out our shows. And uh, thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank you.